Welcome to part 10 and now we'll cover shooting single player. Okay, I'll start off by making a uh, 3D object sphere. I'll call it bullet. I'll just reset its position. Set the scale to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. Give it a rigid body. And turn off use gravity. I'll then make it a uh, prefab. So just drop it into the prefabs and delete it from the scene. Okay, so now I need to update the player controller script to do the shooting. So first of all, public game object bullet prefab public transform bullet spawn. Inside of the update method, I'll add a new if statement. So if input dot get key down, that is key code dot space. So if the player presses spacebar, then I will run a method called fire. So I have to make that. All right, so make a new method, void fire. Create the bullet from the prefab. Game object, bullet. I want to keep a reference to the instantiated game object. So brackets, game object, instantiate. And it's the bullet prefab. The position is bullet spawn dot position. And the rotation is bullet spawn dot rotation. Okay. Add velocity to the bullet. So bullet dot get component rigid body dot velocity is equal to bullet dot transform dot forward times the number six just hard coded then destroy the bullet after two seconds okay so destroy bullet after two seconds there we go now i'll jump back to Unity and add a uh, gun to the uh, player. So just drop them back into the scene with them selected 3D object cylinder. Position 0 0.5, 0 0.5, uh, rotate at 90 degrees, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0.25. One moment, there we go, that's better. Remove the capsule collider, that's important. Otherwise, the bullet, when it gets instantiated in a later video, it would collide with that and be destroyed. Uh, as for the material, let's change it to black. There we go. So that's our gun, and let's call it gun. Okay, again, select the player. I'm going to create an empty game object, and this is a bullet spawn. And I'll set the position to 0.5 in X and Z in 1, and that just places that right at the front of the gun. So let's apply those changes to the player. And I'll just get rid of it from the scene. Now go to the player. We've got two empty slots to fill. First of all, the bullet prefab. And next of all, the bullet spawn. Okay, so that's good. Build and run. And we're just going to see that basically it's not uh, synced. Let me run it here. Okay. Join in as a host. So I can shoot. There we go. Shooting. Let me join as a client. I can shoot as well. But it's not synchronized, of course, so obviously. So I'm hitting spacebar here. It's being created on this player's computer only. But that bullet is not being spawned across the network. So that's a first problem. But anyway, let's keep going. We'll add that uh, from the next video onwards.